Alright, so in this problem, I have x to the power of x to the power of 2 is equal to 16. So what I'm going to do is first start by taking the power of 2 on both sides. So I get x to the power of x to the power of 2 to the power of 2 is equal to 16 to the power of 2. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m times n. And m and n, these two are interchangeable, meaning this is the same thing as a to the power of n times m. Well, if a to the power of m to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m times n, then a to the power of n times m, this should equal a to the power of n to the power of m. So in simpler terms, a to the power of m to the power of n is the same thing as a to the power of n to the power of m. So in this case, I have x to the power of x to the power of 2 to the power of 2. And we can actually go ahead and switch the places of x to the power of 2 and 2. So if I do that, I get x to the power of 2 to the power of x to the power of 2 is equal to 16 to the power of 2. Now, 16 I can rewrite as 4 squared. So I get 4 squared to the power of 2. And if I have something in the form, remember, I say to this, but I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 4 to the power of 2 to the power of 2, that's going to equal 4 to the power of 2 times 2, which is equal to 4 to the power of 4. Now from here, I'm going to let x to the power of 2 equal to the variable y. So now if I replace y with x to the power of 2, I get y to the power of y is equal to 4 to the power of 4. And if I have something in the form a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, this equals, it's the same thing as a, a equals b. So in this case, y is going to equal 4. And remember how we let x to the power of 2 equal y, meaning x to the power of 2 equals 4, and x is equal to positive or negative 2. 